Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Welcome to another Access video. In this tutorial, we're going to teach you about changing the primary key. So what is the primary key? The primary key is the value that is identifying every single row. Or um, now that we understand databases a bit better, I'm going to introduce different terms. So a row is also called a record. So each of these records, number one is Edward Chan, number two is Janet Chan, and they all have a unique identifier called the primary key. So this field, this ID field is the primary key. So now I'm going to change the primary key because I feel like there is a better way to identify each person than just one, two, three, four. Okay, so because one, two, three, four, it doesn't tell you a lot about the actual person. So I'm going to change the identifier to a new field. So I'm going to add it first. Okay, I'm just going to add a short text field and I'm going to call it the, um, just call it username. Okay, and the username is going to be used, uh, actually, let's make the U capital. A username is going to be used to identify each person. And rather than just a number one, I'm going to make it the first letter of their first name and the four letters of their last name. So E Chan 12. Um, and then here it can be J Chan 30. Here it can be B Chan uh, 1. And then here can be B Lee three. It just tells you a little bit more about each person. So now that we have the username, what I can do is I can go into the design view of this table and notice how next to the ID, there is a little key icon. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the username row and change this to the primary key. So now the username row is the primary key. Uh, save the table and now I don't need their ID anymore. So I can just get rid of um, this ID field. Delete field. Okay, so each person is now uniquely identified with the username. So I'll drag it to the front. So let's say I create a new person <coughs> Emma White, okay, uh, female, and let's make the date uh, 1st of March uh, 2004, and you try to click out of it, it'll remind you that you haven't entered a primary key. So let's go e -E wit 9 okay? So now each person is now identified with their username. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.